And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Milton Keynes Dons, and they take on Crew Alexandra. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the delightful pass. Must score! Can they slot it? And a goal! Right off the bat! No wonder they're jumping for joy! Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, all, all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. The opening goal of the game, then. Dickinson. Jordan Bowery. Brennan Dickinson with it. Delivering it into the box. Insufficient accuracy with the header lead. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. Harry Pickering. Powell. Lowry now. Wintle with it. Might be a chance here. And up for grabs off the keeper. Cleared away. Harry Pickering. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Counter attacking, very much an option. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter attack. Not so. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Is this the moment? And putting his body on the line. And now the delivery. Not to be this time. Really a very poor ball. Brennan Dickinson with it. Jordan Bowery. Now they've lost it. Just couldn't keep the ball. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. With the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55JKK. Please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Boateng. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Well, just look at the stats up there. They really haven't created enough. Not tested the goalkeeper, not tested the defence. Mind you, only takes one little mistake and they could get back into this game. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And it all counts for naught. I must say, no shortage of space. Lowry now. And attempting the through ball. And he might be through here. And it's done it! Well, he had enough time to think about it, didn't he? He knew what he was going to do and did it brilliantly. It's going their way. 2-0. Brennan Dickinson with it. And you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. 
Well, it's a poor tackle. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Can they keep it going? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Powell. And so it is, the first half story has been written. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. To be replaced by number 14, Kieran. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good looking move. Dickinson. This might have potential. And teammates to play it to. Now you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Boateng. Textbook defending inside the box. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Boateng Maneuvering his way forward Options in the centre Boateng So close to keeping himself onside But offside is the verdict Well, and that's his job, the linesman Give those tight offside decisions and get them right To be replaced by Number 24, Jordan Horton Crossing possibilities. Read it superbly to take back possession. Must score! Well, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Read it magnificently and intercepted. The hosts have really controlled possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Give it away. And the emphasis is on creativity. A bit sloppy in possession. And Finney has it. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And he's taken it away. Counter-attacking very much an option. And the counter-attack... came to nothing now this could really lift spirits 
And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? Lundström. Giving the ball away. Just ten minutes to go. He's in with a chance. He's got to score. Easy save. A sloppy pass. Looks promising this. Can he make it count? A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Corner kick played over. They're lacking in direction with that header. He was under duress. Yeah, defender just put him off a little bit, but it was worth an effort. If it goes in, he's a hero. Johnson. Griffiths. Plenty of running room in the wide position. He has time to play it over. It's got to be! It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. One. Minute remaining. There's the final whistle, and the visitors. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks so much for your time. That's all the questions we have for you.
Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the... Weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Blackpool, and they take on Crew Alexandra. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really. This is the lineup for the home team. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. He continues his run. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4 5 1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? These players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support, not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. And a chance for him on the flank. And very deftly cut out. So a throw in here. He's enjoying space. Wonderful chance! Well, on the volley, that's not how he had planned it in his mind. No, he certainly saw the ball going in a different direction than it went in. Griffiths, Dale, must score, and it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead, things have got to change on both sides. One nil then. He's taken on his opponent here. A chance to whip it in. Not all that convincing defensively. Surely, can they put it away? Well, Derek, they're still behind, but it was so close to equalising there. Fine cross into the middle. And he did what he had to do defensively. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Promising-looking ball. Could be the big moment for him. And up for grabs off the keeper. Lowry now. Well, Derek, there's always a turning point in games when you look back and say that was the pivotal moment. Was that save it? Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 39 minutes, please. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, we're going to see the replay here. You can't head the ball in the net if you don't get any crosses in. The crosses are coming in thick and fast, and that was a beauty. That made the goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. Into the advanced position.
Riley. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Read it magnificently and intercepted. The first half here comes to an end. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. And providing width. Decided to come in from the flank. They've regained possession. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And very deftly cut out. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Excellent ball over the top. Top class defending. It's got to be! And the ball is in the net! crowd have gone crazy and quite rightly so what a finish that is well here it is a striker's bread and butter simple finish but it's the positioning that gets him the goal well two one it is here I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches who is it for Alan McAnally it's a goal for Swindon Town 57 minutes played 1-0 regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but offside by a hair. Yes, yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. Well, the pass not finding its target. Half an hour remaining then. He continues to make hay. And thwarted there following the cross. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. The cross is on. He must finish! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. This attack looks highly promising. Alert defending. He's found a pocket of space. Space and time for the cross. It comes to nothing. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And a substitution in the offing. And over comes the corner. The crossbar got in the way. And giving them the gift of possession. In full control of the ball here. And played in. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Untidy in possession. Crossing opportunity. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Just a bit too high with that attempt. 
Now let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Rackington Stanley. Nine minutes remain. 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Well, the home fans are a little bit frustrated today. The team hasn't been at their best, but surely the quality will count in the end. Fruitful looking attack. Cross blocked. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Played into the centre of the box. This is why we adore this game. Late drama. Another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Straight down the throat of the opposition. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. The cross is on. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. And there it is, the final whistle. Just a quick couple of questions. Thank you for your time.
Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll start questions now. That's all the...